I did post a picture on Instagram and Facebook um, me wearing this look with straight hair. Straight hair is just definitely not for me, but I wanted to try something out and honestly I felt like I had no volume, no blah 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 blah, nothing. So I'm just gonna stick to my curled hair, wavy hair. But anyways, this is the look that you guys all requested that wanted to see how I did this look. It's very easy so I decided to do my foundation, powder, blush, the whole work for you guys to make this video a little bit more longer. I did do a talk through, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I did try to do this video while Junior was asleep, but he woke up when I turned on my lights. So you might hear him in the background. So just a little bit of warning, but yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys really liked it, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Stay tuned and keep on watching if you want to find out how to get this look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me video, and yeah. So as you guys can see, I am having a little bit of it acne issue I was using my professionals for a bunch of days and then I started seeing acne come out and that was a big no-no for me so now I don't use the professionals I guess it kind of plugged my pores or something and then acne started popping out and so now I'm like oh trying to recover from it so I am not putting anything um, as a primer now. So you gotta find something better than that. So yeah, but anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my NC35 in Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. And I'm just going to pump some of that in my hand. And I'm going to be using my Pretty Girls uh, S03 brush my favorite brush that I use to apply my foundation and then I spray it with some Fix Plus and then I'm just going to go ahead and start applying that on my face and then I just kind of pat the color into my face just to make sure that I you know don't overdo it a little bit so I just kind of do this You want to make sure you wet the brush so it could like, you know, kind of not be so thick the foundation when you apply it because this man, this foundation tends to get thick and cakey and don't want to go for that look. So just kind of and then I do apply foundation on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are tatted. I don't know if you guys can see but they're, they were tatted so. No, I hate them and I try not to do anything. So just kind of cover them up so I don't have any of that color popping out. So as you guys can see, it kind of does hide it. And I do apply foundation on my lips just because my lips are pinkish. So it just kind of makes me look weird with all that foundation, but. Yeah. <clears throat> then you just want to make sure you blend everything so you know doesn't have any streaks or anything. So I just go back and kind of pat everything into my skin. Okay. From there, I'm going to apply my NC30 uh, Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, and I just do two pumps for each. Why not? Uh oh. You see I I do two pumps for both eyes. And I go ahead and I usually would use my what happened baby? Oh your dead that I'll pick it up right now. Um my brush that I'm coming out with Sedona Lace but I used it this weekend for a makeup that I did and it's in my makeup case so I would have to clean it and I wasn't going to go do all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this with my beauty blender. 
and just kind of pat the color, that concealer, down. And kind of just leave it there for a little bit. And then I go back and do this side. I was trying to do this video while Junior was asleep, but once I turned on the lights, yeah, he woke up. So, now he's going to be talking through the video, and then I'm going to have that one person that's always complaining about my kid being in the background. But anyways, whatever. So, I'm just going to blend that, and then I use the back part of the beauty blender just to blend it. I do the same thing I did, just pat the, the liquid, the concealer down. Like so. So I should, you guys all should look weird like me right now. So, I am going to be using my new powder brush. And I just have that handle because I'm testing it out, you guys. But, can't wait to share with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and use my NC35 Studio Fix with my new favorite powder brush without the handle. And I'm just going to pat that into my skin and then kind of do circle motions just to blend that. And I'm just applying my NC35 where I didn't apply the concealer because I will be applying another different powder there. I just want to do circle motions and then go down to my nose. Then I do bring the foundation down to my neck. Mm. The powder. Did I say foundation? I think I said foundation. Then on my eyes, just to set the foundation. So from there, I'm going to grab my NC25 Max Fix Studio uh. Fix powder. Yeah. And same brush. Uh. And then just apply it right where I applied the concealer. This one's a little bit lighter, so just kind of trying to bring out what I highlighted, so. Like smooth. So I would go ahead and start with my brows, and I'm using the Maybelline Define a Brow Medium Brown. It looks like this. You can get this at Walmart, Target. It's way cheaper than buying that expensive, you know. Um. Okay, so I did my brows already. And I'm going with my... Delphic from MAC. I really love this, um, what is it? It's an extra dimension bronzer. I really, really love it. Um, it's the only one that I feel that actually works for me. I'm going to zoom you guys in because Junior is watching TV and I want it to distract you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this one with my Sedona Lace FB05. Like I said, I would use my contour brush but I used it for this weekend and it's dirty so just gonna go ahead and contour my fluffy cheeks and I like to do circle motions just to kind of blend what as I apply and if you need to pick up more you go ahead and do that And when you blend, you want to blend upwards. You don't want to blend the product down because you will be making your face look, you know, for it not to work. So, I just kind of blend that in. Circle motions, like I said. You guys can see that. And it's okay if it looks harsh. We will blend that at the end. You want to blend upwards. You apply and then I kind of contour here and then here 
And then I'm going to place some down here on my cheeks just to make myself look a little bit slimmer. I'm just going to blend that down to make that shadow so it kind of looks like I am thin. I wish, but I have a round face so there's nothing we can do, can we? So I just kind of blend that down. Okay. From there I'm going with my blush in Peaches from MAC. And then just kind of apply that at the apples of my cheeks. So see, and then I kind of apply a little bit here. A lot of people tell me don't. It makes your face look weird. But I like it. So I do as I bleed. Kind of would need my brush to kind of blend this out. Because it's starting to crease on me. Then I use the powder brush that I use and just kind of blend everything so it doesn't look too harsh. Those pillows. Okay. So the look that I did that everybody requested for me to do a video, I simply just did, this is what I did to my face. For my lipstick. I used, if I can find it, oh, I used the Anastasia to set the brows, just so you guys know. I kind of have like everything everywhere because I was kind of trying to get all my stuff together for the makeup appointment I had, and then I kind of lost everything, so... Um, the lipstick that I used was uh, the Gerard Cosmetics, and this is in 1995. I will put a link on the bottom bar for you guys, so you guys can go out and get yourself a lipstick. Because honestly, um, all week, that's the lipstick I've been wearing. So, I'm obsessed with it, and you should be too. And this one is, was made, created by Jacqueline Hill. You guys don't know who she is? Where have you guys been? But... Yeah, she's beautiful and she came out with this lipstick and it looks in a gold tube like this. And then at the bottom it says 1995. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. 1995. And it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the lipstick because honestly, this look, it's almost done. So I just go ahead and apply it. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. See how beautiful it is? Then you should I just go with my finger and then kind of blend the edges. So a lot of people are crazy about this look and I'm like thinking to myself, they only knew it's yeah. just foundation, the lipstick, the powder, and then that's it. This kind of has become one of my like um, everyday makeups. So from there I'm going with my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara and I am going to just yeah. apply it on the bottom and top lashes. Just a coat, just so you know, they don't look white because of the powder and foundation that I applied on my eyes. I do the bottom part last because it always usually, I end up sneezing and then it all ends up here. So I'm trying to avoid from that to happen. So from there I just go and use the NC25 powder and then I just kind of apply that on my eyes. Just so they look kind of clean and it hides little veins and all that stuff. So it neutralizes them. So there you go. See? So we're going to go ahead and apply eyelashes. The eyelashes I was wearing in that picture, I tried to save them for you guys so I can actually wear them. Um... 
to when I did this video, but they got lost in my purse somewhere and did not find them. So we'll be using another pair of lashes and I'm going to go get them and I'm going to use these lashes and these are number 48 lashes. They look like this. I tried to uh, do like a dramatic lash but I did not uh, find another pair of those lashes and I don't remember the number so it's kind of hard for me to tell you guys what number they were. I think they were number 80. I'm not sure. but. I would have to go and look for them or Google them, see if those are the ones. So I will do that and let you guys know. I'll put it on the link on the bottom bar. And, okay, eyelash glue. I use the eyelash adhesive from Lash Grip. I guess that's what it's called. It came out in one of the goodie bags that I got. I think either YouTube Space or at Beautycon or... I don't remember where it was, but... I like the black one. The white one doesn't seem like to help stick the, the lashes. So. so I go ahead and just grab it. These ones, I don't feel like I need to cut them. But if I do, I will do that. But right now, I'm just going to apply them like this. Kind of let them dry for like 10 seconds. So I kind of just blow on them a little bit. And then I just go ahead and stick them. See how easy that was? So I make sure this part is on. And then I start kind of laying the, the rest of the lash. You can see that? Okay, this part is being stubborn. There. Okay, so we have one. I'm gonna do the other one. Like I said, these are number 48. They're simple, yet they pop, so that's good. going to try to put this lash without any issues because this is the left side and I am a lefty so it's kind of hard for me to it's okay we got eyelash glue on the top we'll clean it up with some makeup remover Just trying to make sure that they're stuck in there, so I kind of mess with them a little bit. So. so from there, I just go ahead and I start with my mascaras again. And I will be putting eyeliner on you guys, so don't worry about that glue. And I'm just going to go back and stick my lashes to the falsies. apply mascara at the bottom I start to sneeze so I don't know what that is I know I'm not the only one with that issue but okay so okay 
Okay, so from there you will go ahead and apply um, eyeliner. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I think that I do want to do like a dramatic look. But I did want to show you guys how to do this makeup because a lot of people were asking for this video. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and do it and then take the lashes off and then do another look for you guys because I do want to do a dramatic look. So, yeah. So, I really hope you guys enjoy this easy. This is going to be my, like, my new everyday look. So if I want to like get ready to go, if I'm going to get um, her, be in a hurry and go pick up the girls, I will usually just go ahead and you know do this so I can look like it took me a while to get ready when it didn't really take me that long to get ready. Usually if I'm not recording, I will do my makeup fast, but since I am Mama, trying... Mama, Mama. Yes, baby! Mm. What? You want to mm. go on the street? The car? Want to go in the car? Yeah. So yeah. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Stay tuned, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Say bye.